your girl Ashanti and I'm here with another freaking video. So you guys, so this video I'm gonna be doing a Q&A. If you follow me on my social media, then you would have saw that I posted a, I'm doing a Q&A video and ask you guys to ask me questions about like marriage life or relationships or something like that. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. But before we get into the video, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and make sure you drop down my comment below if you have any questions or anything to add or whatever. Wow. <laughs> so before I get started with this video, I'm just gonna tell y'all from the jump, I'm not no relationship doctor. I don't, I'm just doing what I'm, I'm just saying stuff that I know or what I think is best. I'm not saying, um, I give the best advice or whatever, but if you use, you, you use it, that's on you. I'm just saying this is from my point of view, and yeah, I haven't been married for that long, but I'm just gonna focus. So I'm gonna answer the questions about so far or what I've been, I've realized or experienced or whatever. So I wrote down the questions because you know I'm recording on my phone, so I couldn't look at it. So I typed them up. Yep. So, um, we're gonna get started with the video. <laughs> okay, so the first question is, what is one thing you like about marriage so far? <laughs> so, hmm, if I had to say one thing that I like about marriage so far is that, um, Um, I'll say that I don't know. It's like a lot of things into it. I don't know like what would be the number one thing or whatever, but I mean I do like that I get to um see him every day, I guess. I get to spend time with him every day or whatever. Cause I know he's always there. He's like always here with me. So I guess that's one thing I like about marriage. But to an extent, sometimes you don't need to space like that. But yeah, I mean, I guess it's because when I wake up, he's just right there. He's always there, right there, right there with me. So I guess that would be the one thing is that he's always by my side. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that answer. But anyway, so we're gonna go to the next question. So the next question is, do you make, do you think you made the right decision? So, yeah, I really do think I made the right decision. I mean, some people may have said that I was too young or something like that, but you know, I think I did the right. Well, yeah, I think I did the right decision. Something happens in the future, that just happens, but for right now, I think it was a good decision and that, yeah, it was a good decision. I really think I did make the right decision because at the end of the day, it was gonna be it was our decision whether was, we wanted to get married or not, and we made that decision. And so now we're living with it, and right now we're having a good life right now. So, uh, seeing each other every day, we're just happy. So I know there's gonna be times where it's gonna be hard and stuff, but we prepared for that. And so yeah, I feel like I did make the right decision. Just part of life. Yeah. Okay, so the next question is, how does it feel to be on your own without your parents? I mean, sometimes it does get a little difficult. Well, I want to say difficult. It's just different from living with your parents because it's like they always do everything or if you, they always there to help you, pick you up when you fall. Not saying they're not here now, they are, they're still, here for us and everything and but it's just different because like I'm not living with them which I've been used to about all my life <laughs> so yeah it is a little different and everything but I mean they're still here to help whenever they um, can or able to or whatever but yeah I would say it's different and something to adjust to from being under your parents house to moving out but then again I'm not by myself because I you know, have <laughs> but still and like I said my parents still here they're always uh, there for help or whatever yeah so it's different but just gotta adjust to it and you'll get to it eventually okay so the next question is when can we see the apartment 
So you guys, yeah, I am gonna be giving y'all a tour of the apartment, but it is not ready yet. I don't wanna show you guys until I am, we are completely, I'm completely done with the rec decorating and stuff, which I'm not, I mean, you see little stuff behind me and everything, but it's just not where I wanna be at yet to show it off. So that video will come soon whenever we get everything else. We don't have much to get left. We just have some other stuff that we need to get to complete and that I want to get to decorate around the house and everything. So, but there will be a video coming, y'all. And I don't know what exact time, but it will come and y'all will see it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, the next um, question is What advice would you give to someone else about relationships? So, like I said before, this is just what I take on the stuff. I mean, yeah, so, so me and my husband, we was dating before we got married for like three, four years or whatever. So, I mean, I would say that with relationships, I say that there has to be an open line of communication because communication is key, like for real, because if y'all don't have communication, then. I don't know. You just got to talk to one another about how you feel about stuff and talk to see what you talk about, talk with each other about like to see what you want to do or like, I don't know. You just, you just always have to have a communication line open with each other. And also you got to like trust in one another because you don't want to always accuse him or think something that's happening. You got to have that trust, like trust and be like, yeah, I know he's doing the right thing. I know he ain't doing this, I know he ain't doing that. So yeah, trust is one thing that you gotta have in a relationship also. Um, I was also say with relationships, it is gonna be hard. So you shouldn't be too easy to give up on that relationship, especially if you really want it and everything. So you gotta be able to work out your problems, talk it out. Y'all gotta do something what that we all both agree with, compromise and stuff. There's compromise in relationships. You gotta do some, well, I wanna say do it. I mean, you gotta find that point where y'all both will be happy with and everything, both agree with and everything. So, yeah, I would say communication, trust, and yeah, you just gotta, I just know. I don't know, but I just know that you have to have communication. Especially if you really want the relationship to work and stuff. I don't know. I feel like y'all just got to be on the same mindset too also. Because like if you on this page and you on the other page, then y'all totally in two different places. So y'all got to be places. So y'all got to be like on one accord and everything. So yeah, that's my little insight of relationships that I'll give to someone. But yeah. Um, so the next question is, when did you get married? Okay, uh, so we got married on his birthday actually it was actually it wasn't on purpose or anything but it happened so <laughs> yeah so now we got married on his birthday so yeah oh which was uh september 9th 2020 so yeah that's when we got married okay and question next question is how did you all meet so this is gonna be it's a long story into this um into this um question so i will be like i'll probably do a separate video later on about how we met or something or maybe i'll have i don't know do a video on how we met or something like a story time or whatever but it's a long story but yeah yeah it's just a long story i'll probably do another video with that but um <laughs> we met I'll just say we met, we was in school together, so that was kind of the beginning of it, but there's more to it though, so I'll probably do a whole different video with it about that, so yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> okay, um, next question is, is kids in the picture? I mean, yeah, kids are in the picture, but definitely not now, definitely not now. Not ready for kids and everything. But we do want three kids. So, yeah, that's going to be a lot of pain and stuff. But still, we want three kids. and But definitely not now. Later on, probably like five, 
six years later on. I don't know when it's gonna happen, but I just know it's not gonna be now because mm -mm, no, I still gotta finish school, start a career and stuff. So yeah, kids are in the picture one three of them and we actually already have some names that we wanted because we wanted to be prepared so we already kind of got some names filled up <laughs> we already got some names and everything i want to say it but i don't want y'all to steal my names that we found that we thought was cute for us but yeah so yeah we found some yeah we have kids in the picture but not now later on in the future okay <sighs> okay so the next question is, never mind, there's no more questions because I guess I didn't write them all down. But anyway, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you drop a comment down below, you guys. And thank you for all the support that I've been getting lately. My videos kind of been going up a little bit, but thank you all for just the support and just continue to support me. So you guys, um, make sure you just share this video with friends. Give me out, let's share, 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 and all that, so you guys. So yeah, I'll be back with some more videos coming soon. And yeah, I love you guys. Bye.